You're watching Newsday on the BBC. I'm Sharon Jeet-Lail in Singapore. The headlines live from our studios in Singapore. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. here in Singapore, midnight in London and 7 in the evening on the Florida coast, which is being buffeted right now by the most powerful hurricane to hit the area in a century. Hundreds of thousands of people living in the path of Hurricane Michael were originally ordered to evacuate the area, but now they've been told it's too late and they'll have to ride out the storm. Our correspondent Gary O'Donoghue has sent this report from Florida. Florida. A Chinese intelligence officer has appeared in a court in the U.S. charged with spying. The U.S. Justice Department says uh, Yang Zhongshu was extradited from Belgium on Tuesday. Our North America correspondent Peter Bowes has more allegations indeed, Peter. The charges we know come as the United States increases lots of pressure uh, over China's trade policies, its uh, so-called theft of intellectual property from the U.S. as well. So this can't be coming at a good time know how long this case might la run? Well, you're watching Newsday on the BBC. Still to come on the programme, a special report. Welcome back. You're watching Newsday on the BBC. I'm Sharon G. Lale in Singapore. Let's take a look now at some of the front pages from around the world. We can start with the Japan Times, which is leading on the IMF's growth uh, forecasts, uh, which say that Japan's economy will grow 1.1% this year. And then on to the Straits Times, which is leading on what it says is Singapore's most ambitious aviation project. And that is the uh, China East Venture, which will include the construction of a new passenger terminal at the airport, airport. As you can see, it's already underway for Terminal 5. And then finally, we've got the South China Morning Post, which looks at the new policies unveiled by Hong Kong's leader, Carrie Lam, uh, which uh, include things like uh, improving education as well as housing. Well, that brings you up to date with some of the papers. Uh, ben, what are some stories sparking discussions online? About time is all I'm going to say. More now on our main news this hour, which is uh, Hurricane Michael sweeping into Florida. We began this program with a report from our correspondent there, Gary O'Donoghue. Well, in the last uh, little while, he sent us this latest update on the storm from Panama City Beach. And that was Rick Scott, the uh, governor of Florida. Now, police in Nepal have smashed a major smuggling ring trading in baby chimpanzees stolen from their mothers in the wild in Nigeria and then flown thousands of miles to Kathmandu. The police have told the BBC they took the action following a BBC News report last year which revealed the extent of the illegal trade. It comes ahead of a global conference in London tomorrow aiming to tackle that problem. David Shukman has more from Kathmandu. Well, at one and three quarter billion, you'd hope it would win a reward. Uh, you've been watching Newsday. I'm Ben Bland here in London. And I'm Sharon Jitlail in Singapore. Now, Ben, I don't know how you feel about very long flights because uh, Singapore Airlines is set to make history again. Yeah, certainly a flight where you want to get up and uh, wander around as long as you don't disturb anyone else. Uh, before we go, a reminder of our main story. The most powerful storm.